Good morning. Today is May the 2nd, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today on the church calendar, we remember Athanasius, Bishop of Alexandria. Athanasius was born around the year 297 in Alexandria, Egypt. In 325, he attended the First Council of Nicaea. In 328, he was consecrated as Bishop of Alexandria. Um, he led in many uh, doctrinal controversies and was exiled for 18 years of his 45-year bishopric. And on this day in 373, he died in Alexandria. Ale uh, Athanasius served as the bishop of one of the church's most important centers during decades of considerable violence and ecclesiastical dissent. He is named as one of the four Eastern doctors of the church, largely for his rejection of Arianism, a popular, popular belief that Christ was lesser than God and not fully divine, and for his articulation of what became Orthodox Christian faith in the Trinity, with three equal persons in one. He was not responsible for the so-called Athanasian Creed, which was written after his death. And this is from his writings. Through death, immortality has come to all. And through the incarnation of the word, the universal providence and its leader and creator of the word of God himself have been made known. For he became human that we might become divine. And he revealed himself through a body that we might receive an idea of the invisible father. And he endured insults from human beings that we might inherit in corruption. And uh, because what, when we think of Athanasius, if you do think of Athanasius, we often think of the Holy Trinity. Uh, the prayer appointed for his day is the prayer for Trinity Sunday. Let us pray. Almighty creator and ever living God, we worship your glory, eternal three in one. And we praise your power, majestic one in three. Keep us steadfast in this faith, defend us in all adversity, and bring us at last into your presence where you live in endless joy and love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.